Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to hop on here and make a quick video. I didn't plan this, but as I'm sitting here getting ready to start this painting, a few things have come to mind. And I've realized that what I'm going through right this moment, I feel like a lot of artists go through it and maybe talking about it and offering a little bit of advice might be helpful to someone out there. So today's video is going to be five tips for getting over your fear of the blank page, or in this case, a canvas. Now, as you can see here, or maybe you can't because it's black, but what I have here is an 11 by 14 gallery wrapped canvas. Obviously I have primed it with a black gesso so it's very, very dark, and I'm not sure if the camera can even focus on it right now, but that's why I have this tube of paint sitting here to give the camera something to focus on. And so I'm not one to be intimidated by a blank canvas because I know that this can be anything that I want it to be, and that's how I regard it. I meet each fresh page or canvas with a sense of possibility and hope but somehow this one's got me a little bit stressed out and I think it's because, or at least I think anyways, that it's because I spent so long thinking about this one and planning this painting out and I'm using all my best supplies. I'm using my ruby satin silver brushes. I'm using my golden artist acrylic, which if you're not familiar with acrylic paint, these are basically the Rolls Royce of acrylics. And the reason that I'm using all my best supplies for this is because this one's really important to me, you know, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about, like I said, you know, this painting is maybe weeks, maybe even possibly months in the, in the making. Okay. And so in doing that and taking the time to prep the service myself, I let it get too precious. And so now I've run into the dreaded fear of the blank canvas that so many artists struggle with. And I typically don't have that happen to me, but with this one, I think I allowed it to become so precious and so important that that's why I'm running into this. So without any further ado, um, I'd like to give you my five tips for how to get over the fear of a blank canvas, or at least some things to keep in mind when you're going through this. So for my very first tip, before you even get started, take a deep breath, relax, and remember that art is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. Nothing has ever been made better by going into a situation all stressed out. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that driver's education 101 or something that driving and emotions don't mix? Well, it's the same thing here. When you're painting or drawing whatever it is that you do, it's you're making a lot of fast decisions constantly your brain is moving and working painting is not for the indecisive because as you're working you're constantly working through problems and coming up with solutions to those problems every time that you go back in for more paint or you make a tiny adjustment here or there that's a decision that you've made and you're constantly doing that and you can't think with a clear head and make good decisions and get good results if you're overly emotional or, you know, overly stressed about something. You know what I'm saying? So just relax and take a deep breath. My second tip would be to realize that this is only a canvas or if you're working on paper, it's only a piece of paper. Even though artist grade products, you know, and supplies can be very expensive, um, at the end of the day, it's still only a canvas. The world's not going to come crashing down if you mess it up. And this is one of the reasons that I always recommend to beginners that they start with affordable yet effective supplies because that way you're not going to feel too protective, I guess, or too stingy about what you have because you're not going to feel like you're wasting anything if you didn't spend, you know, instead of maybe $35 a tube, you spent $5 a tube. Do you know what I'm saying? So 
again, my second tip would be to realize that it's only supplies. Do you know what I mean? It's only a canvas. It's only a piece of paper. You can always start again. And most mediums, especially acrylics, which is what I'm working in here, are very forgiving and you can fix any mistake that you run into. So for my third tip, and this one's the big one, if you take nothing away from this video but this, this, this is the big one, okay? You need to learn to accept failure as a means to learn. I'm going to say that again, accept failure as a means to learn. Because even if this painting turns out to be a disaster, I will still be better for painting it. And I'll learn something. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I think we all need that gentle reminder sometimes that you need to value those failures. Think of them as getting one step closer to where you ultimately want to end up as an artist. I'll bet that camera's not focusing. Oh, it is. Surprise, surprise. So tip number four would be always finish the painting because I used to be guilty of this when I was a beginner and and even a couple years ago I went through this phase where I was not finishing any of my paintings I would have a bunch of half finished paintings just laying around my art studio because I would get halfway through and I would give up and let me tell you something every painting goes through an ugly phase you are not going to know halfway through how it's going to turn out because so many things change uh, you're not you're just not going to be able to tell when it's underdeveloped so I think we tend to get very fixated and very easily frustrated and maybe a little obsessed with things some of us who are perfectionists and you know we give up halfway through don't don't do that to yourself because a lot of the time after a little bit of time has passed you'll come back to it and you may have a completely different opinion about it. Um, and that's something that I learned over time is that there were so many paintings that I looked back on that were half completed and I realized, gosh, you know, if I had just pushed through and finished, I think I would have really ended up liking it. Uh, it looks different to you after a little bit of time has passed because when you're right up on top of it and really close to it and you're, you're staring at it long enough, it really doesn't look like anything anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? So give yourself a little bit of time, come back to it, but always, always finish the painting. And my fifth and final tip, which is really not a tip, but more of a realization, is that you're not alone in this because... Every artist, or at least most artists that I know, of all skill levels, have felt like this at some point. They've experienced these insecurities. You didn't invent this, it didn't start with you, and it won't end with you. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, all artists experience those insecurities in their work, and I think that this is something that we all deal with at some point or another. So I think there's something, something about knowing that that really does help me at least to feel better. It's like, oh, okay, so other people feel that way sometimes about their work or whatever it is. It really helped me to let go a little bit and to realize that it's not just me, you know, that it's very normal. So those would be my top five tips for overcoming the fear of a blank canvas or a blank page. And I hope that you found this helpful in some way. I really didn't plan to do this video, but as I'm sitting here right now in the moment, these things going through my head, I wanted to make a little video because I thought it may be helpful to some of you. So that would be it. I am going to stop procrastinating now. And I'm going, I have my palette sitting next to me. I've already mixed the colors. I'm just gotta do it. You know, I gotta put that first brush stroke to the canvas and that will help break some of the preciousness of it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start painting this now and hopefully you will see this in an upcoming video coming very shortly on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming in the future. And as always, have a great day.